So good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you all. Oh, my name is Money. Welcome you back to Kata's Graphics. So we're gonna use the shape builder tool to build this little animal here. It doesn't have a tail. So I'm sitting on the ground today because I care much about the earth. So I'm making an animal which also represents nature. So you see how everything works together for good. So you'll be wondering why wouldn't you just build a logo and leave an animal? No. I won't build any logo. You are the one who is going to build the logo, okay? So this is just for uh, the practical aspect of use, how to use shape builder tools. And with this, I'm going to point out some errors and mistakes. And I use this particular image, this animal, this elephant, because I love the elephant very well. And this is my best color, the red. So don't expect me to make a logo now. I might make a logo tomorrow or next or next tomorrow. So what am I even saying? So we're going to make this in less than 15 minutes and our time begins later. So now, this is the shape builder tool and uh, this is not the shape builder tool. Anyone who tells you this is the shape builder tool, is a lie. This is not the golden ratio, I mean. Anyone who tells you this is the golden ratio, is a lie. A golden ratio is not a circular uh, uh, assembly used to design stuff or make up one or two things. A golden ratio is simply the combination of strokes, lines, segments and so on using the shape builder tool to create something unique. That is simply what a golden ratio simply means. So without being understood, let's dive into it. So before creating, working on this, you can just use this uh, uh, what is it? Ellipse tool to create your circle. See what we have here. Create a circle. So this red here, I choose it so that it will be the color of this stroke. So you can reduce the width of this stroke to at least 0.25 if you are using a mini PC. Use 0.5. So I'm using 0.5 because I'm using a mini PC. Am I using a mini PC? Yes, I am. So I'm in the same state with you. This is my old PC I'm making tutorial with. My desktop is over there. And I have a problem making tutorials because I tried to fix the desktop and it was a big, a huge problem for me. So I backed off and I got back to my mini PC and I formatted it. I installed Photoshop, Illustrator and started everything afresh again. So this is why this is running perfectly cool and fast because I run a full format on it. So our 15 minutes starts now. Am I gonna say that again? So we're gonna use this circle, all the circular uh, forms and formats to create this mister here, okay? So what it simply means is we are gonna use these things to place all around this to form these edges that we have here, all these curves we have here, okay? So without being understood, let's dive right into it. So we're gonna use this thing, this will work for, you can use this to select, I think this will work for this mister. Um, yes. So it mustn't be perfectly exactly your your shape you built here. It can be something close, so you can work perfectly well. So before you select your 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 your, your circle you created, you can create this circle multiple times. Create them inside circle, inside circle. If you watch, they are not perfect. The line between this and this is not perfect with this, not perfect with this, not perfect with this. I just make a couple of circles to make sure they work with this. So before you do that, you also make sure uh, you hold the Alt key so you don't select this circle out of here and leave that space empty because we are going to use this repeatedly to create stops. So we're going to hold the Alt key and drag. And before you leave the Alt key, make sure you leave the keyboard first so you can drop a circle that it duplicates then we proceed so when we have this here we are going to use we're going to create the ear so i think this will work for the ear so we use this circle for the ear it works perfectly well we use some circle for the head it works perfectly well but we are going to use this particular circle for the trunk the, the upper side it's going to be smaller than then we use this other circle for the lower side is it gonna work did it work okay it worked so we use this circle here for the trunk which we are going to work on immediately so make sure your 
you hold the shift key and drag make sure it joins there's no space between this area and this other area okay so now since we have joined that come back to our work i'm going to use this circle to create the stomach of these elephants so flat tummy babies can copy from this mister so we use this to create the other angle of this elephant Okay, so we will also use this one to create the bomb bomb. Cool. So let's see what we have removing this mister. See what we got here? So I'm going to delete this. We don't need this. I, I will show you how we got that. So you see what we have now without this. Make sure you lock this mister. If you don't lock this mister, it will be misbehaving and if it shifts a little you have a problem with what you are doing so you lock it make sure it doesn't conflict with what you are doing yeah so we zoom closely here we are going to use the line segment tool to build from here these angles that are uh, located in this shape so we draw from here to this angle we release we go to the leg we draw from here to this angle we release we draw from here to this angle we release so we have perfectly what we are looking for and uh, the trunk is perfect the eye here we are going to work on this letter because if we are trying to do that now it might get you confused a little bit we we'll do that later on in this tutorial so once we have this <clears throat> what next we are going to do is select the selection tool and select everything here okay select everything then you go to the shape builder tool don't select your color now okay go to the shape builder tool then you select the color see what happens now if you draw inside it will give us the color we selected but if we had control alternative z so but if we had selected this and selected a color it's going to simply and select everything selected everything and we selected a color it's going to simply place the whole color in this background and that's not what we want okay so so ctrl z we select the shape builder tool and we select our color red or blue or whatever color we want so here comes the fun part of this tutorial so what you're going to use is the plus button without holding any keyboard if we hold the keyboard we are trying to tell it delete these angles but we are not going to hold any keyboard now so we are simply going to uh, join these areas together all these areas that we want we are going to join them together okay we're going to join them together okay cool Join those areas together so let's let's see if there is uh, anything we can do to this to make it better So now, let me teach you something. Let me guide you on something. If you are making a shape, a circle above something else, you don't want it to pass through this angle. You are going to make this one inside. You're going to make this one inside. Control. You're going to make this one inside overlap this one outside. Okay? Just like this. By overlapping, we simply, we are simply telling it, we are simply telling it, to resist any extraction that goes above here which means if we are going here it's not going to expand if you are clicking here plus it's going to control z let me select the color so you see what we are doing so we click any color here is not going to extend there but if we didn't do that if we didn't do that if we come here we selected everything and we come here and we click it's going to let's select the color remember so we click 
here is going to expand and cross to the other border. So that's not what we want. So Ctrl Z, select this particular shape and we expand it to work have a bad shape here. We expand it to work with this angle. works perfectly with that angle. Cool. So now we got that, we can now proceed with our selection. So we select everything here. So you go to the Shape Builder tool. Now we can start working on our beautiful piece of art. So what you're going to use here is the plus button and in other places you're going to use the minus uh, key, which is the Alt key if necessary. Okay. So now what you're going to do is just click and select very simple you don't need to stretch yourself click and hold your keyboard and start selecting the regions which you want to include in this drawing okay select the regions which we want to include we want also to include this one we come back we include all these we include all these friends include all these friends we include this one and this is simply what we want okay we didn't select our color and that's and that's a bad thing okay so since we didn't select your color if you have an error with that just come back select your color then click again plus it is going to apply that so if you did that selection when you are selecting it simply works perfectly well with you so now we have our shape Built. what happens to these other ones that are outside the angle because we can't just now we can't just remove them we simply we also can remove them it's possible we remove them since we have built the shape builder tool but uh, the best way to do this is using your minus key which is the alt key to delete every angle which you don't want which is simply holding the alt key Mm? hold the alt key and drag on any angle sorry you must have to select the shape builder tool first before select the shape builder tool then hold the alt key make sure remember i told you to make sure you select our color and we use the color for this inside so when you select the shape builder tool we are going to hold the alt key and use it to minus all these angles we don't want this is another way to do it just hold and minus Hold and minus, hold and minus. So when we minus now, we don't have anything distracting us from the outside world. And now we have our elephant. So now we can remove the, the background we have. So we can see clearly what we are we have there if it's perfectly with what we are looking for. So we have the problem at this downside. So you hold the alt key and also remove. Sorry don't need this anymore select everything you select the shape builder tool you hold the alt key and we remove this little one here so we can continue and proceed so you can tweak a little by clicking and squaring the angles and uh, you know I taught you this how to do that we can select all these four parts make them what we want it to be so it will be interestingly cool any part you see you don't you don't like you can simply delete it okay any part you see you don't like you can simply delete it so you can just make just play around with this you can click on this you see this part is too sharp and we don't need it so we to remove it we click on this part and stroke it this way so it's now a perfect curve for an elephant now we want to work more on this elephant Let's assume this elephant is a logo because we are going to create, uh, you can also add your name on that and make it whatever you want to do because this is not a real image, it's a vector shape that we just draw from the paper. So uh, to make this look more interesting, we are going to add a gradient. And what is the color of an elephant? Brown. The color of an elephant is brown. So we are going to add a lighter brown here, which is this, and we add a darker brown here, which is 
this okay we are going to make this select the gradient to and, uh, make it this way so good so now we have this we are going to create another circle here so we can create a shadow i talked to somebody i don't know who i talked to whether it's a uh, l praise or or sunny or so about the shadows so now watch clearly if you are that person so what to create this shadow now we are going to select a an angle that works perfectly with the ear okay this angle works perfectly with the ear so with this angle selected now we are going to select this all these shapes we select remember we created another angle here we selected create another circle here we selected everything now so what we are going to do now is going to add we're going to add a color so we're going to make it the gradient color for the ear okay we're going to make it but select the shape builder tool first then you make the color you want to use the gradient color so once we make the color we click on plus here ctrl z sorry for that we simply click on plus on only where is our circle where is our circle here it is okay so now we already have that circle so created on that color so let's assume the circle wasn't created on that color already let's assume the circle wasn't created on that color so we select the circle now let's move it out and see the circle don't have any other color so what we are going to do is to this circle before moving it in here or even when we move it in here move it in here and it aligns perfectly with what we want we zoom closely to see it aligns perfectly well okay so now we align very well we are not going to select everything and apply we are only going to apply this gradient to only this circle boom we have the gradient apply but we won't see it because you are not you don't have the spiritual eye you don't have the spiritual graphics eye to see it so what you're going to do to know if it is true is to select this gradient tool and we are going to drag from this angle or we drag from this angle what's going on it's not working okay so we have it here what we are going to do we are, we are trying to create a shadow within this angle so we are going to drag from this angle see if it works it works it works okay cool it works so let's take it back to where it comes from so do you know the problem we have why we are not seeing this circle and the function of the gradient because be careful very careful this circle is beneath this shape so we have this shape here but look at where the circle is so we are simply going to move this above this shape by dragging it in the layer panel or by simply clicking option bring arrange bring front okay so when we say option bring front we have this circle we don't need this stroke so we are going to remove it so we have this circle but this is not a very nice look so we're going to use this to make a little more tweak select this and make a little more tweak to it to the ear just have to play around with it to make sure you have an ear working so what we want to do is to make sure this thing look like an ear from this other angle so we are going to select and make sure the brighter side goes from this angle and the darker side matches with this other side okay so now this darker side doesn't match perfectly well so what we're going to do we're going to select this and make the darker side match perfectly well with the circle side Okay, so you see it, it match perfectly well now. So it seems as if the circle is blending perfectly well, but I don't like the blending. It is not very obvious to me. So we're going to make it blend more perfectly. So now we can't see that color there perfectly well. We can also make a little more tweak to this by bringing it down. Cool. So you see, so it is it's assumed that there is an ear here but we don't see where it ends here which means it's a part of the body of this elephant so you can also make another one which is the the trunk so you can just select the trunk and uh, play around with it 
select the chunk and uh, we select we remove this and then select the gradient pattern also remember to bring to the front arrange bring to front and boom we have what we want so the trunk is here and we can play around with it so go closely and uh, see what we can do with it so we're simply trying to tell it merge with the other part but the top side only the top side should be um, control z so try to tell it only the top side should be the brighter side of our gradient okay so now we have this all selected we move back and we have our elephant ready but one thing missing who can tell me what that is that's the eyes we don't have the eyes of the elephant so we are going to create an eye here very simple eye but when we create the eye we are not going to let it be with the gradient too because it's going to look like a ghost a ghost elephant so we select everything then we hold the alt key and we click on that okay select the shape builder tool first and we click on that eye to create an open hole between the eye and other parts of the shape so you see there is a red line there if you can watch closely there should be a red line so we're going to remove the red line don't need it so perfectly well you can bring this a little closely and uh, this is okay you don't need to shoot this but if there be any need you can do that there's no need for that so right here we have our 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 elephant drawn from this from this mister we have over here we have drawn this elephant so now we can give it any name we want to give it whether mr frank or mr great or mr praise or mr uh or mrs magogi so we simply have so you i'm going to send you a drawing of a fish which you are going to practice with and uh, come up with something cool or something cooler than this okay so with that being understood this is simply how to use the shape builder tool we'll be making some other tutorials on this also i'll show you how to use it to build some other uh, uh, uh logos and some other stuff like that so with that being understood peace and enjoy the rest of your week and stay